Hey friends, Coach Josh here. And today I wanna to talk about how to defeat self-criticism or at least render it less destructive. And uh, if, you're not, if you're familiar with the personal development world and you're you know, involved in reading and looking at mindset um, and learning from different teachers, you're probably aware of the fact that there's sort of a, a, a constant problem solving dialogue in your brain that's running nonstop. And part of that is brain is to look at, you know, ability gaps and, 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 and can be quite critical, can be quite self critical as to um, what's what you don't have, what resources you're lacking or abilities or uh, just, just plain talking shit. If you're, if your brain's anything like mine, uh, mine comes up with consistent uh, burns on how I'm not working hard enough, not doing enough. People don't like me. Um, and, uh, and, and those are just from conversations with my mom. So that's not even, that's not even, you know, the long-term inner critic, but look, the, uh, the first step on defeating the, 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 the self-criticism habit and breaking the cycle is to, to raise your awareness. And like I, I do, I always like to do exercises, um, by that, I mean, practical things that you do with your body to, uh, to, to start to learn and become more aware. And the thing that I just recently started doing is integrating doing five push-ups every time I catch myself being self-critical or uh, beating myself up or qualifying or diminishing myself for my abilities. And uh, I, the first thing that I notice is, man, I'm doing a lot of push-ups. And this is good because I, I need to get better at push-ups, but it doesn't have to be push-ups. You can do, you can dancing, you can do singing, you can do uh, an exercise you actually want to do or get better at. The important thing is that when you slow down and you look at or become aware of how often you're uh, you're criticizing yourself, you're you're putting yourself in the driver's seat of control because once you see something, you can do something about it. So when you take a break, you do your movements and you start to 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 look at what's really going on in that situation. You can ask yourself questions um, when you're when you're being critical of yourself, being like, "Is this true?" Is this fair? And is this helpful? You know, um, asking those types of questions, is it true? Well, a lot of times it's not. It's just things you make up on the spot. Is it fair? A lot of times we don't take context into consideration when we have these critical self-evaluations. And then is it helpful? And 99 times out of 100, any coach will tell you, that a critical thought is generally not helpful. We already know what the problems are. We're aware of the obstacles. It's time to focus on solutions. And is it true? Is it fair? Is it helpful? Those are all questions that I would ask myself and ask you whenever you're having a bout of self-criticism. So I don't know if that's you, if that's today, but it helped me a little bit and I hope it helps you. Still helping you bring out the warrior within.